Hi everyone, it's Albert here, and today is a special episode of solving the code question. So last week, I have a senior engineer friend、uh, help me to do a mock interview, and we were solving this question together. And he really gave me a lot of good、uh, feedback and suggestions how to approach and solve coding questions in、uh, real interviews. So today, I would like to share my experiences and the. Feedback he gave me to every one of you. So let's get started and jump to the Lico interface. The first suggestion he gave me is to have the right mindset. Don't treat this as an interview. Just think of it as an、uh, solving a problem with your coworker or having a pair programming session. This mindset will really help you to relieve your stress and perform normally in the interview. And for this problem, there are、uh, basically two tasks we have to do. First is to design a data structure that is、uh, initialized with a list, an array of different words. And then we will be provided a string, and we have we have to check if we can change exactly one letter in this string to match、uh, any word in that data structure. So the two APIs we have to implement is first build a dict. We can transform the dictionary array into any kind of、uh, data structures we need. And then the search API will be given the search word, and we have to check if dictionary has a word that is exactly one letter different from search word. Okay, and after understanding the question, let's try to think about. A feasible solution, and discuss with the interviewer. And for the data structure for dictionary,、uh, since we need to constantly check if search word has a similar word in dictionary, and also it's kind of obvious from the API name,、uh, build dict. So maybe a hash map is a proper data structure we can use, since we can utilize the constant time、uh, lookup. But what key value pair should we put in the hash map? So if we look at the requirement in the question again, the search search word and the matching word in the dictionary can only have exactly one character difference, and also their length should be exactly the same. You cannot add any letter or delete any letter in search word or the word in dictionary. So maybe we can use The length of word as key of the hash map, and then the value will be a list of word which has that length in the dictionary. So in the search API, first we can retrieve a list of words from the hash map, and that word list every word has the same length as search word, and then we compare every word in the list. To search word, if、uh, it, there's a word has one letter difference from、uh, the search word, then we will return true. Otherwise, we turn false. This approach is pretty、uh, straightforward and intuitive, but a possible on、uh, time complexity. So we have to check、uh, every word in the word list, and also every letter in search word. So a possible time complexity. Could be、uh, square time, and is that good enough? So if we look at the constraints of this question, the dictionary length can go up to one hundred, and the search word length can go up to one hundred as well. Given this data size, this approach、uh, seems not too bad, and we can also try to think about some edge cases and some possible optimization. For example, if in a dictionary there's no word has the same length as search word, then we can just return false immediately. And also,、uh, when we are looping through search word, and we found that there are two、uh, letters are different, then we can also break and return false. So the approach to solve this question is、uh, first. Convert the dictionary list into hash map, 
and this hash map the key is the length of word and the value is a list of words which has that length and given the search word we can check if the hash map has a key of uh, length search word and then we can uh, retrieve the word list and for every word in the word list we will check if there is a word that is uh, exactly one letter difference from a search word and this approach will have a uh, big O of m times n time complexity m is the length of the word list and n is the length of the search word and space complexity is big O of m and up to this point the interviewer also think this is a, a reasonable and intuitive approach so I started to implement my code. Okay, now I finish up my code. So first is to initialize the hash map uh, using Python's collections uh, default dictionary. And the build a uh, dict API, we will just uh, add every word in dictionary into the hash map with the corresponding key. And in the search API, first check if uh, if then search word is in a hash map or not. If it is not in the hash map, then we can just return false immediately. And next is to retrieve the word list. So for every word in word list, first we will have a counter uh, count, which is the number of different uh, letters in between the word and search word. And then we will iterate through the search word if uh, the letter is not the same, then we will increment count by one. Then if we found that count is bigger than one, it means that there are at least two letters different, then we can just break. And if uh, count is equal to one, then we, will, we can return true. Uh, and then finally, uh, return false. And now I try to uh, run my code. It passed uh, this test case, but when I submit the code, it actually has a bug somewhere. And I was kind of struggling here for a long time, didn't really figure out uh, what the problem is. And the interviewer, he really gave me a very good uh, suggestion. It may be different uh, from company to company, but the interviewer suggests that uh, I should have my own uh, development environment or coding tool ready so that if I have some bug in the code on the like the code or hacker rank platform, I can just test it using my own tool because in that way I can use like console.log print to easier uh, figure out what the problem is. So in this case that uh, this if condition, this should not be executed inside the for loop. It should be, this should be checked after the for loop is finished because uh, we have to first finish checking every letter in the search word and then run this check. So if I fix this and then submit the code again, now it works. Okay, and now let's review the key steps uh, for coding interview. First is to read through the question and then discuss a feasible solution with the interviewer. And based on your approach, select a proper data structure and algorithm to use. And at the same time, try to think about uh, the edge cases 
and some possible optimization. And then code implementation and debug is as well as important in coding interview. And if we can finish the intuitive and straightforward solution, we can also try to bring up a more optimized approach, which is using the try data structure to achieve a better uh, time complexity. And the key takeaways I have from this uh, mock interview is first, work with the interviewer, communicate and interact with him. Treat this like a peer programming session or as if you are working on the same problem. And even before writing any code, try to analyze the time and space complexity of your approach. If your approach works with the given uh, data size and also easy to understand, then it should be good enough. And finally is to uh, learn how to find and fix bugs uh, during the interview in a professional way, like using your own uh, development tool, tool or ID. And for this, I would suggest to check with a recruiter or interviewer beforehand if you are allowed to use your own uh, development environment. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.